Mic check. One, two, one, two. So, my baby sister is getting married. 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 Love is in the air. <laughs> nope. Rachel told me to be very serious. This is a very classy affair. You saw they didn't do any silly dances, so I've been pre-warned. No raps. No skits. No dances. Right? So, uh, for the last about month and a half, I've been writing a beautiful speech, and really from my heart. I wanted to do something a little fun, but I thought, you know, if I wrote something that was really just, you know, came to my brain and whatever I felt, I just wrote and I kept writing, so bear with me, because I think it's very nice. Excuse me, you have a speech? Oh, I'm serious. Where's the wedding thing? This is embarrassing. It's been a long day, I just put the kids to sleep. <laughs> All I have is my phone. No, I can remember it, I can remember the speech. No, I remember, I remember, I remember. Dear Rachel and... No. Rachel and... No. What are you going to do? Siri, download wedding speech for sister. Now downloading wedding speeches. But Evan, are you sure you want me to find one on the internet? You should make it personal and thoughtful. Siri, I already did that. I wrote a beautiful speech about eternal love and happiness, and I can't find it. I need to say something now in front of everybody right now. I am not too much of a romantic, but from what you told me about your sister, this should be pretty easy to talk about. You have told me over and over again how she is the most caring, lovable, heartwarming person in the world. How every brother could only dream of having such a cool sister. How she has all the qualities of a fine human being, from being a loyal friend, a hard-working employee, and of course a loving daughter and now wife. That's right, Siri, but don't forget, she always puts herself before everyone. And she's the glue that keeps this family together. And she's so beautiful inside and out. Let me take a mobile upload. you got to see how good she looks. <laughs> <laughs> <Take this. laughs> Josh looks pretty good, too. Josh is a lucky guy because everyone tells him he looks like me. <laughs> Did you get that picture, Siri? That was very nice, Evan. Do you have any advice for the newlyweds, Rachel and Josh? Well, yes, I do. Thanks, sir, for asking. Actually, I don't call them advice. I call them golden nuggets. So, uh, I'm kind of sure. <laughs> Compromise. Cherish. Never go to bed angry. Kiss more. Don't sweat the small stuff. Always be newlyweds. Take the positive at every situation. Appreciate one another. And the rabbi actually touched upon it earlier during the ceremony. And it's be like mom and dad. And that's really the best advice I could really give because Rachel and I have had the best role models when it comes to love, passion, dedication, and commitment. And that's our own parents. So the advice I could give to both of you is be like your parents and be like our parents. And you can't go wrong with that. No offense, Evan. This is coming out way better than your boring speech about <laughs> eternal love and happiness. Thanks, Siri. Gosh, so nice. Well, I guess that's what we could all learn about that old saying, and my mom always says it. She always says, you make plans and God laughs. So that's a little saying that I love to say, but there's one plan you both can make, and that's a promise, and that's to love each other, one another, more than ever. Oh, here we go. Love each other more than ever. And every second you cherish with each other, spend it together. I love you both very, very much, and a quote I'll share that Larry used to say, I only wish what you both wish for. Let me get my drink. That was great, Evan. We could do it again. Come on, one more time. Let's hear it.